Hi, this is David, Richter Scale Studios. I want to do a small product review on one of the mods I did on my Creality CR-10S. Uh, this is the Anycubic Ultra Base build platform. It is a glass uh, sheet that fits the, uh, the printer perfectly with some kind of um, coating or sticker on it that is amazing. This thing holds like a vise. And I'll show you how I got introduced to it. A couple months ago on eBay, I went to the Anycubic store because I saw a couple of reviews on YouTube of this printer. It looked pretty cool. It's very compact comparative to the uh, uh, Creality CR-10. And it's basically a, you know, a Prusa um, modded uh, printer. It's all metal frame. But the thing is, last year they changed from the Anycubic i3 Mega and this is the Anycubic i3 Ultra Base. So this is some kind of new adhesion technology they came up with. And after using this a couple times, I was like, just blown away by it. No glue sticks, no hairspray, and no hassles. Um, I'm going to come back over here. Uh, what's going to happen when the print's done, and you do have to wait a little while, the, uh, the aluminum build plate will cool, and then the, uh, the glass with these, this will cool, and then the plastic cools, and everything separates. Uh, what I think what happens, when I keep this at 60C, uh, these little pores must expand and then when you start putting the hot plastic on it it holds it so when it all comes to room temperature those little pores must close a little bit and push the plastic away or repel it somehow and when i come back in a second it'll be a couple hours for me uh show you how easy this thing comes off it's pretty uh crazy okay we're back uh excuse like a little slight motion on the camera i just rigged up a tripod with a mic uh stand a GoPro gooseneck and a selfie stick attached to that. So it is um, actually working better than me holding it. So we are back. Uh, we are at room temperature. Uh, yeah, this is cold to the touch. We are printing at 60 degrees Celsius on the bed and 225 Celsius on the uh, eSun Gray PLA Plus. I'll put a link to that in the bottom of this. Um, I just love the, like I've said before, I just love this gray. And we just printed out the, um, excuse my moving away to catch up on this. This is from War Layer 2. This is from Landing Pad Bravo. And this is a corner piece that's opened on the set, uh, side. There's another piece that has like an enclosed wall. I like this pipe thing, it's kind of cool and for cover for uh, using it in Necromunda or Shadow War, uh, Armageddon or even uh, 40K. Or this would even look awesome with Infinity or any kind of a. Uh, uh, futuristic um, skirmish or war game. So this is gonna be the test. So now we are at uh, extruder temp of 28 degrees Celsius, room temperature basically, and uh, the hot bed right now is at 29 degrees Celsius, and there's air under here, so obviously it's probably one degree warmer, it's so no big deal. We'll see how easy it is to remove. I don't think I can blow it off, but I'm gonna see if I can push. That was crazy, you hear the click? And it wasn't, I just didn't free it up earlier. And you have to admit, the bottom of your model looks amazing. And you can see, you can see a little bit, um, that's my leveling problem right there. But all this is perfect. Nice and smooth and glassy. And then we have this piece. Barely, and this comes right off. And then let's see if I can, uh, can I move this? Let me see if I can turn my motors off. Then we have uh, the wipe or purge point. That just, everything just falls off of this thing. Then all we need to do now to clean the ultra base any cubic, let me put that in frame still, is, I try not to uh, reuse a lot of uh, paper towel or anything on these. I'll use this a few times. And then I buy, uh, I bought the spray bottle. I know there's overpriced, but then I just put regular alcohol in it. It's just nice to know it's marked well and use it for everything, cleaning up paint in the studio or ink I get on my clothes. Alcohol kills it. Just give it a nice little spritz. And that's it. We're done. There's no particles. I don't even feel any kind of edging. There's like these screws in the plate right here. Always make me think I'm like seeing something sticking out of it, but it's just a, under that glass. So uh, that is it. I'll put the model back up again. Uh, it is an amazing little upgrade. I 
think they're a little over $30. I will put a, a link in below. I believe I got this on eBay. So I'll put the eBay link on that. I'm not sure if you get it on Amazon. If there's one on Amazon, I'll put one on there too. I am an affiliate of both. Um, I believe in the community we should use each other's affiliates when we're watching videos for cool ideas. Uh, puts a little change in our pocket and helps fund our videos and our uh, hobby or habit, however you look at it. So uh, once again, thank you for joining me and we'll see you in a video soon. Oh, I'll give you an update. This is uh, a print I did last night. It's not glued together. This is the, uh, let me put it on the print bed. This is pretty amazing. This is going to be another video series coming up. This is the uh, war layer from Andrew Askerdahl, of course. This stuff's amazing. Uh, if you, you it has a store, warlayer.com, I'll put that down there in my last video. This is uh, part of his Orbital Heavy lift, Navy Heavy Lifter series. One's the crane uh, that you've seen on my uh, board and uh, on the last update video. And this is a, a complement to that. That is the, like, the forklift, but they're both called heavy lifters. I'm gonna do a paint series on this. It's gonna be all airbrush mainly. There'll be a little bit of brush work at the very end with hi highlighting and washes and stuff like that. I'm still trying to think of a paint scheme. If you see my game board, it's very uh, rust and dark. So I'd like to do some very contrasting colors. So if you wanna put a comment in below and suggesting colors, that'd be kind of cool. And if I use it, I'll give you credit in the uh, upcoming video series. And that is it. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon. Hey, I'm back real quick. I just wanna do one caveat. Let me get this down. Uh, on the ultra base uh, bed. Like I said, this thing is awesome. You saw how it sticks, it comes off. One small thing, it's not gonna really affect a lot of us with 3D printers. Some of the new printers have um, power resume functions on them. So if you have a printer and the power goes out and it goes down to room temperature, this bed won't grab that uh, piece anymore, which is a small, small problem with the performance it has. If you're in like in a stormy time, maybe use your glass bed with some uh, hairspray or glue stick on it or a, a lock build, which I have. That is, it's a pain to get everything off, but if you're in that kind of situation, uh, use that type of bed. I love this bed. I don't have power fluctuations here very often. I live in Northern California, so our weather is not that crazy. We get all rain. So I just wanted to give that, so I'll give you a full review. So I've, uh, I've had this, you know, when it's cold, it, it won't warm up again. It won't melt the plastic to stick to it. So once it's cool, it's cool and it releases everything. So that is it. Thanks again. See you soon.